I don't know, really? Okay, let's see. Today, I'll cover one of the most disturbing cases ever on Reddit. I also want to give a fair warning. View discretion is files. advised. Okay. It's so unique, I haven't seen anything that comes close to this in terms of authenticity. I also highly discourage you from looking any of this up since it's very graphic and it could potentially haunt you for life. Is it is it a toss problem on Twitch or does he not show anything? I think it's a resub Nick. Also, this immediately doesn't look familiar, so I don't know if we've seen it. Thanks a Prime Scarm. Doesn't show anything. Thanks a resub van. Okay. Some of you might already be familiar with this user since this topic is more or less three years old and he is very well known on the subreddit mobile questions, but I think the majority of people Thanks never heard David. of this. I think going through his post history and finding out about his true intentions is essential here. I also want to quickly mention that if you end up liking this video, I'd much appreciate Thanks, it. Sub. Let's dive into this. <laughs> I love eating ass. Hey, fuck yeah, congrats. That's huge. Let's get some blade. I hate eating ass. That's too Worthless far. Worthless three one nine was very active on Wrong specific subreddits. Most of his posts were made on the subreddit Awakened. His first ever post talks about North Korea and the USA. He will infrequently talk about political topics, but the main focus of his posts will become apparent in the second post he made. This post deals with his self-mutilation. He also elaborates that he almost passed away due to its severity. Mm. In the replies, he has a few interactions with people about spirituality. He's a bit scryo. He's afraid of suffering, and people tell him to take it slow and to not read too much into it, but he seems to be unable to do so. And suffering seems to be the main topic that he's concerned about. In his third post, he again talks about the same stuff, but it gets very dark in the replies. Sounds like the dude the from that, is like Da Vinci Code, that keeps hitting himself with a and both like testicles, the stick, but roughly one inch or like of the base flail remains. or whatever. My intuition, God, higher self, primal instinct, etc., tells me to remove it. The first time I used a gun, now I must use a knife, and it is going to be exceedingly difficult and painful compared to a few trigger pulls. After what? getting the advice to consider. He removed his penis with a gun. I mean, that sounds like a lie. That, it wouldn't even work. That's like that carnival game where you shoot out a star with the BBs. You'd have to do like a like a full fucking line. Well, I guess if I mean you could be using a higher caliber of bullet to be actually. I didn't even think of that. Paired to a few trigger pulls. After getting the advice to consult a therapist, he responds with, I'm in the midst of universal truth no medical professional would understand. I've experienced three hospital visits for mutilation and total to three months Thank long you, man. in psychiatric facilities being fed medication. In this post, he goes to length explaining how he circumcised himself, shot his own dick four times with a revolver and then fried and ate it. He also lost his left testicle in the process that was the thing on and Cannibal Cafe. ended up at the hospital. In a different reply, he explains that he saw teed his own penis and then ate it. His friend ate his left testicle. He also states what a that good he friend. needed to peel off his left testicle before cooking it. And someone was curious as to how it tasted and he claims that it tastes like chicken and that he cut it in half since he almost vomited trying to eat the whole thing. He this states seems that very he's fake. only following God's will and that he's afraid of the pain that he will experience when he decides to cut off the remaining part. When receiving questions as to how he endures the pain of shooting his dick so often, he just explains that it's unbearable but he needs to continue. 
he also is willing to send the images of his doings to people who are doubting him. Against all doubts, OP delivered. Okay, does he actually, in this video, let me see, let me make sure he doesn't actually show the pictures if there are any. Before continuing though, I will say, having pictures doesn't necessarily confirm that. You guys remember the BME Pain Olympics where there's the video of the dude cutting his cock off? It's fake. You can fake those things. You can easily, well, easily might not be the right word depending on how the pictures look, but yeah, you can absolutely fake it. He posted the pics. Again, it, I guess they could be real. It sounds un, unbelievable, but I guess it is possible. I'm just saying, like with the BME Pain Olympics where everyone's like, can you believe this guy cut his own cock off on camera? That was fake. That is a confirmed fake video. So I'm sure you could also fake pictures too. Okay, it doesn't look like he shows anything. Thanks to Prime, decode and the resub kindly in tier 1 HFK. There was one user who has since deleted their account who expressed their doubts. The way he's talking about it seems now, like he's fishing I for attention. That's the impression I get. Yourself. I truly do, even if it comes at the cost of myself. But know what goes around comes around. What followed was something that probably no one It wasn't one fake. Again, how do people not know this? This was a big deal. Uh, the creator of the BME Pain Olympics even came forward saying, yes, that shock video, all of that was fake. Now, it's not everything that creator has posted being fake, but that video in particular is fake. Uh, hold on. I need to make sure it doesn't actually show it. Because the person behind it, Shannon Larratt, is Devin Larratt's brother. He passed away now, but before then, he did publicly state that it was a fake video. I'm trying to find the old article. I have to be careful with this topic because it is showing some shit here. Where the fuck was it? Is it so unbelievable the Reddit dude actually did it? I think so, and especially the way he talks about it. But again, it could be. I'm just saying just because there's pictures doesn't necessarily mean it's real why can't i find this article now i just looked this up like three weeks ago again just to make sure i wasn't crazy and misremembering i know wang talked about it in his video but there was a whole interview with him where he just said like yeah that was fake made to be a viral shock video capitalizing on that trend back then I can't find it. I keep looking for the Shannon Larratt interview. Is it in his Wikipedia, I wonder? No. God damn it. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here's the article. Yeah. So it is in this interview. It goes over Shannon. I probably can't even show this website. Let me get the excerpt. The main response for the creation of this site was the man responsible for the creation of this site was Shannon Larratt. Shannon was himself one of the first people in the West to have his tongue split and among the first three people to ever recognize uh, to ever receive an eyeball tattoo. Shannon's BME website would gain further notoriety after he created a fake but very convincing shock video titled BME Pain Olympics Final Round. I can probably show this part actually. It's just him getting his eyeball tattooed. Yeah, so this was an interview with him and it goes over like the history and why he created it. 
I actually didn't know this part. This video originally concluded with a disclaimer noting that the footage was not genuine. However, shortly after being passed around the internet, the disclaimer was removed, leaving many viewers to believe that they were actually watching self-performed castrations and panectomies. Yeah, so that, like I said, that video was fake. Okay, and back to this one. I don't quite understand what you mean. You feel I lack sincerity? Exactly. The prime beef. response was an image and... Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. Exit tier one. So Angel. let's summarize what we know so far. This guy is insane. He made multiple Very posts gym. stating that he shot his own penis. Four times. Then fried and ate it. He then provided images for people doubting him. The image is not only not safe for work, God damn, it's thank you again, literally Maki. not safe for life. If you thought you that this cannot subs, get Maki. any crazier, I must disappoint you. It will only thank get so more much. disturbing from here on onward. This has been proven fake. The worthless 319? Right, hold on. Nah, I'm, I'm deep in it now. Where? Like I said, just because there are pictures doesn't mean the pictures are genuine there. Let's see. And the way he talks about it is literal Reddit, like, attention-seeking. <clears throat> it didn't seem genuine even from the get-go. Where, did, where was it debunked? Because I don't even see anything on it. I just see people discussing it. Where was it proven to be fake? There's a whole Reddit about it being debunked. Fuck, okay, I'll have to go to that after, then I don't feel like going that far out of the way now. I'll finish at least getting the lore here. Thanks for the resub. In this one, he states that Lesbian. he already cut off 90% of his genital and that God requires him to cut off the remaining 10%. He also is unsure whether this even would be enough since a portion of his dick is inside of him, so he would need to carve a hole into his body to fully complete his task. Mm, then for good the point. postings, Thorough. he gives us a more graspable reasoning behind his intentions. He has the conception that he was chosen by God and that he needs to mutilate himself in order to avoid a potential conflict with North Korea. He basically sees himself as a prophet, receiving direct orders Who's to, say he God wasn't? to save mankind. Here's some more God did some fucked up shit to the people that like, followed him back in the day. It reads, If I don't do this, it's Armageddon time. End of the world. End of humanity as a cosmic player in the universe. Think of Donald Trump, North Korea, the increase in current natural phenomena, a bit hurricanes which shape a spiral galaxy, etc. Good luck. The mushroom is a symbol of power. Psychedelics, the penis, mushroom clouds from nukes, it's one mushroom to avoid the rest. If I make it through this final step, my soul will descend into hell to be purified and the earth will be renewed through my suffering. It's extremely unpleasant and a daily question why God chose prime punch. I'm the most average person I can think of. No, he's the hero. He also states that he had visits at insane asylums five times. As if all of this wasn't enough, he continues on detailing personal experiences with LSD, which he calls God's substance. He had one bad trip, which introduced him to Satan, God's second form, if you will. When he received concerns from users whether he plans on harming others, he replied McGrady. with... No, just myself. The opposite of others. I did this for others. In addition to this, we get a lot of personal information about Worthless319. I'm the most average person I can think of, but I've always had a lot of love. Aww. For the past year, I've been jobless living at home with my family, after I shot my penis off and ate it. Before that, mm -hmm. it was university, playing music, working out, and a decent amount of LSD over two years. God's drug. Even though his relationship to God seems to be mostly negative, 
He also talks about the penguin? positives. I'm in agony and suicidal depression most days, but no matter the pain, it's always been relieving to try and trust in God and the universe. Why would you fake also attention is just like this? Also interesting doings, urges, which are uncontrollable. His inner self is constantly There's plenty of reasons. to sacrifice parts of himself and he is unable to resist. Upon detailing how exactly the process of his sacrifices went, someone recommends going to a doctor to finish his sacrifice. He explains why that's not an option. It reads, no doctors can do. It is a sacrifice and I must pass away in the process. I wish I could just end myself or something instead of bleeding out of my genitals. Thanks for the love though. It doesn't help much in these circumstances. Maybe it will help anyway. People listen saying don't type this coherently. It it reads like someone trying their best to play the role of in like a crazy genital post, mutilating he person. For advice, he it reads very fake. Demonstration video of his left testicle on the internet. I, it, there still is a chance now, it's not though. I think I know where the video was and currently may be, but I'm obviously not going to share it here. It's on a rather well-known website and can be accessed through the ClearNet. That's all I'm going to say here. He also frequently uploads pictures of his dog. The replies are mostly the same. Please stop hurting yourself. This is not what God would want. You seem like an otherwise normal guy. Have you tried talking things out with a therapist? Please don't die over this. It's mostly just people sharing their concern and trying to convince him to not continue. Well, Worthless319 always ignored these concerns. Damn. Without any exception. We tried. Now, before we proceed, you may be curious as to how he even releases himself. He shares his experiences his in a reply. It reads, Redirected it. sitting down. If oh. you're talking about orgasmic, since I finished castrating myself, I haven't gotten turned on once. Before castration, I had one nut. I blew apart my left one. I could come very easily by thought alone. In other posts, he Whoa. shares his state of mind. The sensation of feeling helpless and not knowing how to continue. Here's an example. It reads, If you should grievous in the prime, why I riff? feel like I'm drowning in an ocean. I try to swim and I sink. I don't try to swim and I sink further. I've heard it all. Every religion, every school of thought, the best speakers. Hidden universal truths and archetypes have been revealed through deep insight and have acquired a lot of knowledge through experiences which mm. are deemed the most important. I especially fear the end of humanity as it approaches. It's inches away. Centimeters. Goddamn 5G. No one understands me, especially myself. I don't know who I am any longer. I'm so close to the point of complete surrender that it appears infinitely far away and I keep grasping. I've gone insane. I have a limitless amount of love built up inside of my limited consciousness with no one and nothing to share it with. In a different post, he elaborates how no, God sad. conveys his message. It reads, LSD, DMT and through my conscious experience. The user asking just told him that it probably wasn't God who he received the message from and that he should seek help, but obviously Worthless keeps on ignoring everyone. After this, we get to the spiciest part of his entire post history. His post on morbid questions. It has obviously been deleted, but we can take a look at the content of his post by looking it up on Remove Edit. The post reads, How much would it hurt to have your dick cut off? I asked because I shot it four times with a revolver, cooked it and ate it afterwards. I called an ambulance after about five minutes of listening to music laying on the ground. Yeah, this and definitely don't is remember fake. remember much of the pain due to the ambulance ride and anesthesia. I presume a knife slicing through it would hurt more than bullets. What do you think? He also attached an image and yeah, it is his penis. At least what remains of it. This post in particular went pretty viral. A lot of people were commenting and replying to this post. And I want to go through a few. There's a website that shows his deleted Reddit history, not remove edit. Yeah, it doesn't prove that those pictures are either A, real, or B, him. There are people, and I do know this is a thing, I think it's, it's called a panectomy, I think. There are people that have actually cut their cock off online. And there's videos of it. But uh, I don't think this guy was one of them, because he just keeps making Reddit posts, like... 
he's an anime villain or something going into a monologue. I don't think this is, like, real. But the actual act of someone cutting their own cock off and shit, that is something that some absolute maniacs have done. Pan Olympics is not one of them. That was fake. I just pulled up the article with the Shannon Larratt interview. Next to two gift subs, Dusty and the resub Dundo and Nino. Actions. Here the user says, Damn, I was just about to ask for pics or it didn't happen, but Jesus Christ. Worthless. Why did you cap your penis? Others were too yeah, afraid to say. click on the image, but there were quite a few people that were confirming that the image was indeed the real deal. There was one more reply from Worthless sharing three pictures in total upon request. Worthless definitely was not reluctant to share proof of his sacrifices. He would also ask for advice in the BDSM or transgender subreddit, but didn't have any success. He actually would make numerous posts asking for advice as to how he can endure Please the pain of cutting his penis. In other posts, he receives the advice to look for help multiple times, but it's obvious that Worthless couldn't care less. His last few posts deal about a potential conflict with North Korea and the US. This obviously bothers him a lot since he thinks that it is his task to stop nice this conflict chunky. by sacrificing himself. His last posts are what you already probably expect. In the replies he states that he will take his life on Saturday, almost three years ago. Multiple people were expressing their concerns, but to no avail. His last ever post depicts his dog. We never heard from him ever since. Ooh, how deep does it go? Is it prime Marsh in the Tin Gift Subs Dusty? Thank you proceeds, again, man. I want to summarize a few aspects of his post history. Thank you, Dusty. First, he blew his left testicle and eight months later he castrated his right nut. He also states that he was a part of the US Naval Academy in 2012 and that uh. he dropped out. He also shared an image through DMs with a user and this illustration depicts God in his eyes. He posted cool. a few pictures of his dog. It's not entirely known what happened to his dog after Worthless became inactive on Reddit. Whether Worthless passed away or not is also not confirmed. He talked quite a bit about passing away in threats in order to serve God, so it's definitely possible that he took his life. He wanted to end himself by bleeding out of his pelvic area to prevent a conflict between North Korea and the States. It might have worked too, we still haven't entered into a conflict. Like DMT and LSD. He even had a very bad trip while being on LSD. He seems very delusional in replies and threats, and people guessed that he most likely was intoxicated in most circumstances. There were people who were motivating Worthless to further self-mutilate himself in the name of religion. The users doing that deleted their accounts. So, as for information about Worthless... Charlie, I saw the images, the dude has no dick. Like I said, on the internet, it's called a penectomy. There are people that have literally cut their own cocks off. There was even on the... this was a big one, the Cannibal Cafe. Cannibal Cafe, what was his name? Armin Minsk, something like that. It was a user on Cannibal Cafe said, Hey, uh, I want my cock cut off and I want to eat it. Now, there we go. Armin, Armin Me, Muse. On Cannibal Cafe, back in the early 2000s, there was a dude who's like, I want my cock to be cut off and then eaten. Will anyone oblige? Someone did, got together, literally cut his dick off. They ate it. He bled out in the bathtub. Like, there are people, and there are real videos and images of people cutting off and mutilating their own cocks. No doubt that exists. What I'm saying is this Reddit user is most likely not the one that is doing what's described or shown in those images. It's very likely he just took some of those stills from the videos or those pictures and is then making this story around this whole thing for attention. Because the way he writes is very much like a Redditor seeking attention. Just going by the way he writes. Again, could be totally wrong. It could genuinely be him. I'm just saying all of this seems super fake. He's making posts in other subreddits like, 
hey, how do I do this? I actually shot my nut off, which is why I'm asking, because I'm trying to save the the America from North Korea using LSD, parentheses, God's drug. Uh, again, I shot my nut off and then I castrated myself. I've been bleeding and it's, it's painful, but I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, by the way, how do I do this? Like, it seems like he's fishing for attention at every possible step with his post. That's what it seems like. We know the following. Thanks for resub Bat Adventure and the five gift subs blind. East Florida, and he is 23 Thanks, and Caucasian. We also know that six to seven months ago, around September 2017, he was admitted to the hospital for the first sacrifice where he was institutionalized. And roughly five You are more accepting there, of the secret space program's legitimacy. Work, where he cannot back off and True. <laughs> we have no certainty whether he really passed away since there are no news articles from Florida talking about this. You could argue that it's too sensitive to receive media coverage, but that's not necessarily true. Yeah, it would. It it's would absolutely receive coverage. That something like that would get reported in Florida. He's going to bring up Here, Cannibal Cafe. Instance, we have a similar case, or not. which received media coverage. Also, there's no certainty whether the pictures he shared are really from him. Right. They could have been cropped, so they aren't really reverse image searchable. He could have confirmed that the images indeed were from him if he showed a piece of paper with a date or his username on the image, but he never delivered, even when people were demanding it. Even if the pictures were real and from him, we don't really know if he truly mutilated himself. Yep. It could be some sort of malformation from birth or a disease he had or something similar. But besides these Thanks points, again, Blind. Thanks there's another really five. nothing that would really hint to this being fake. Thank you. It's fairly similar to the user snap fingers, which are police reports in Florida public. History. They are. But in direct comparison, the post history from Worthless319 is much more authentic. There are basically little to no flaws that would give us hints to this being fake. If this indeed is a troll, it's one of the best trolls I've ever seen on the internet. You truly need to be fucked up in your head to stick to this for months, making threats and posts and also sharing grotesque images. In the end, you can only hope that Worthless is alive and they can help, but in all honesty, cool. I highly doubt that's the case. I'll end the video here. If you have any topics that you want me to cover, you can reach me on Twitter or Instagram. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like and a sub, and let me know what you think of this entire topic down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. That was interesting. Again, I think that whole story is fake. Pictures, probably not, but the story, at least surrounding them with that user, I think definitely are. And luckily, it looks like we have a penis scientist in here. I've seen the pictures. They 100% weren't from him. He claimed to have shot his penis, but most of the pictures were shaved. A burn there would have simply prevented hair growth, at least in some spots. And there's also...